So I'm just going to try a little bit of the chicken and some of the potato as well. I will try a little bit of the cabbage in a moment, but I'm just going to try these now. Oh, that's really good. Oh. It's like it's Sunday and not the middle of the week at the moment. That's how good it is. Hi everyone and welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make a really easy midweek roast. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make a really tasty midweek roast dinner. So this recipe is really easy but it is really tasty as well. Um, we love roast dinner in this house. I have to admit we are massive roast dinner fans but we don't have it that often and when we do we normally go to town with it. We have all of the trimmings with it so we'll have roasted parsnips, roasted carrots, Yorkshire puddings the lot basically um, but today I thought I'd strip it back and make a simple but tasty roast dinner because it is midweek and I haven't got the time to do all of the prep for the roast that we would normally have at the weekend so I'm going to do a really simple but as I said really tasty uh, dish and I have just put my saucepan onto a high heat I'm going to add boiling water to the base of this pan and I'm going to let this pan come to the boil and I've also preheated my oven so I'm ready to go when the potatoes are done so this pan is for the potatoes so I preheated the oven to about 200 degrees and I've just put water into the pan I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to that and as I said I'm just going to bring this to the boil now but before I do that I just want to say that if you have enjoyed this video today and you'd like to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you did really enjoy this video then please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you have any questions or any comments then please leave those in the comments section below everything like that really helps me out and I would really appreciate it so as I said I'm going to leave this Pan to heat up and come to the boil. I have just peeled, sliced and diced about 600 grams of potatoes and I did that while I was waiting for the pan to come to the boil. So the pan came to the boil and I put the potatoes in. I've used about 600 grams in the original recipe this serves four and I did about 800 grams. So I'd say about 800 grams to a kilogram of potatoes if you're serving four to five people. Um, so yes I'm just gonna let this pan come to the boil again and then I will turn the heat down and leave it to simmer. I think it's actually coming to the boil now so I'm just going to turn the pan down and so it doesn't boil over and go everywhere I'm going to put the wooden spoon on top and this is a hack my son found on YouTube so if you put a wooden spoon on top of a saucepan that might boil over the heat is absorbed the wood absorbs the heat and stops it from boiling over so I'm going to leave the wooden spoon there and let the potatoes simmer for a good five minutes or until they're sort of knife full so if they fall off a knife then I'll know they're done so yes I'm just going to leave the potatoes to simmer for five minutes so I'm just picking up the potatoes potatoes with the knife and they are falling from the knife perfectly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain these through the colander over the sink and then I have my uh, baking tray ready to put the potatoes in when I've drained them through the colander while the oven was preheating I did pop my baking tray into the oven um, so it is quite warm uh, so when the potatoes hit the baking tray they should just start being penetrated with heat and cooking immediately so what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of oil to the top of those and then I'm just going to toss those in the oil and then I have some dried mixed herbs here and I'm just going to add some dried mixed herbs as well so I'm going to add about a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs I'm just going to sprinkle those over and that's just to add a little bit of extra flavour to the potatoes and these are really delicious I have to say I tried this last time I made this dish and these were really nice so I'm going to pop these into the oven now for about five 
to 10 minutes I'd say just to start them cooking and then once they start cooking I'm going to add in the chicken so I've got some chicken drumsticks and some chicken thighs and I'm going to let everything cook together then so as I said I'm just going to pop these into the oven for about five to ten minutes now as you can see the potatoes have been in the oven for about five minutes they are starting to cook slightly now but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the chicken so as I said earlier I've got drumsticks and thighs you could just for this recipe just use drumsticks if you wanted to or you could just use thighs or you could even use a couple of chicken breasts if you like as well and what I'm doing is just nestling the thighs and the drumsticks as evenly as I can in between the potatoes and I'm going to put this back into the oven now for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the juices run clear from the chicken so yeah I'm off to put this back into the oven so here I have another pan of boiling water and what I've done is I have chopped up some cabbage so I've got about a quarter of a cabbage and I've removed the hard part of the cabbage so the core of the cabbage and then I've just simply sort of shredded it into little pieces and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that into the saucepan like so and I'm going to leave this to steam while the chicken cooks so I'm just going to pop the lid back on it like that so what I've done is I've got a pan of boiling water and then I put a colander on top of the pan and I just put the lid in and I find this steams the, uh, the uh, cabbage really well. So I'm just going to leave this here while my chicken cooks. As you can see the chicken is a lovely golden brown colour, the potatoes are brown beautifully as well and the juices have run clear they're all in the bottom of the pot so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to serve this because my uh, cabbage is cooked as well and I've just added a little bit of tamari to the cabbage so I'm going to serve everything up and I will try it and let you know how it tastes so I've served some onto a plate as you can see now if you wanted to you could make a bit of gravy to go with this I don't mind roasting her a little bit drier to be honest I know that sounds quite strange to most people. I know most people like gravy, swim it, it, a roast dinner swimming in gravy, but I actually prefer a drier roast dinner. But as I said, if you wanted to make a bit of um, uh, gravy, then you could. Um, the skin on the chicken is really crispy, so that's great, and it looks really well done as well. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of the chicken and some of the potato as well. I will try a little bit of the cabbage in a moment, but I'm just gonna try these now. Oh, that's really good. Oh. It's like it's Sunday and not the middle of the week at the moment. That's how good it is. But yes, I'm really looking forward to the having this for my dinner this evening. That's how you make my really easy midweek roast and as I mentioned earlier we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tastes so good I can't wait. So for now that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.